transformo, no mariposa, yo me transformo. Me... Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Croatia versus Canada. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Andrei Kramaric. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And now they get the ball rolling. An effective ball. Well, a fabulous Canadian story has been written under coach John Herdman Stewart. You and I. A remember. big moment here, Derek. Watered by the post. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, as you can see, he's first to react, he's first to the ball, and he deserves his goal. That's an excellent finish. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Modric. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. Juranovic and using his body to good effect David and the ball with Alfonso Davies well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it 
Jonathan Osorio and gobbled up with ease by the keeper Mario Pasalic and Kramaric on the ball might really be able to trouble them here Kovacic Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. It is a decent looking attack here. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Has eyes for goal and touched onto the frame of the goal. Firing it in. Terrific block. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Buchanan can he play it in might go ahead and the keeper there to deal with it Mario Pasalic oh, he's going to be disappointed with that pass Alfonso Davies well that's wonderful attacking play and the keeper was up to the task And he read it well, intercepting it. Giving it a try. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? Over it comes, attending to his defensive chores. Davies. Still could be dangerous. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. Well, two one it is here. Number 11, Tejan Buchanan. Gvardiol. And a poor ball. Oh, breezing past him. It's got to be! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Kramaric. Here's Modric. And very deftly cut out. There will be one minute added on at the end. Oh, he looks threatening.
sound piece of goalkeeping. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, I think, Stuart, you've got to conclude Luka Modric has been quiet by the standards he sets for himself. Well, he's been poor today. He hasn't got on the ball enough. He's given it away cheaply, and he's been outplayed. That's the main reason why they're losing at the moment. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jonathan Osorio. A terrific pass. And they could do damage. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly, and he times it perfectly. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Jonathan Osorio. Ivan Perisic. It's with Livakovic. Lovren. Juranovic. An alert intervention. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Must be! Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range he should be scoring, and he knows it. Perisic. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Eustachio. Tejon Buchanan. Osorio has it. Can he convert? Superb block. Juranovic and Kramaric on the ball Mario Pasalic now can they make something happen options in the middle Luka Modric spot on with that tackle Eustachio Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And thumped away. Well, racing past his man. Real chance. And a decent save. Full credit. And deciding to go short with this one. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Just ten minutes to go. A very good tackle. since they have the ball a referee playing advantage here Johnston chance to cross Buchanan 
Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Mario Pasalic. Kramaric. Here's Modric. The cross is on. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. And that will be that, the final whistle. And it is a tale of misery for them. Not the result they were hoping for. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time no two ways about it he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings well that was a great performance his understanding of how to find space was brilliant today and of course he scored two really good goals